Check this bougie shelter. It's got a porch swing here next to the picnic table. Nice. Dead bolted in, so I think it'll hold you. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining me on day 70, 70. David Lesser Memorial Shelter was home last night. It's down the trail there. The sun's uh, pe just peaked up. Watched a nice sunrise this morning. I either just shared it with you or I'll share it with you after this little intro video. I like that crazy, crazy bedhead. Anyway, uh, day 70, mile 10, 17 thereabouts. And uh, heading into town. Harper's Ferry's coming up today. It's a short three or four hour day today. Mostly downhill, thousand feet total over nine or 10 miles to get into town. Uh, it should be nice. We'll see how rocky it is. Gonna look for the West Virginia, uh, Virginia state line up here. You know, we've crossed it a couple of times. Only one of them was labeled that I could find or saw. Uh, anyway, after that, we're gonna stop in town, take it easy tomorrow. And uh, again, might have a surprise for you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, I don't know my time anyway. Uh, so make sure you watch tomorrow's video and uh, watch the rest of this if you want. <laughs> we'll see what we can see today. I'm sure there'll be some scenes of Harper's Ferry, if not some stuff before then. Hopefully we get some uh, good scenery. Just saw the deer here for right as we are leaving camp. And uh, that lean-to I did last night, I call it a modified lean-to. It's kind of a lean-to with a, with a patio or something. I don't know. But it was cozy. Got down in the high 30s, low 40s last night. And I slept like a baby. Of course, walking 21 trail miles plus two blue blazes of a couple of miles total. And all those rocks and all those crazy elevations, steep, steep climbs. No, thank you. <laughs> it wore me out. I'm sure that helped sleep uh, come real fast last night. Anyway, stay tuned. And again, if there's anything you like here, hit the thumbs up. But more importantly, hit the subscribe button if you want to see any more on the way up to Katahdin. <laughs> Enjoy. I'll catch up soon. Another quick note here. Uh, well, some people ask why I shaved. Well, I'm usually actually clean shaven, uh, but in October or it might have been Thanksgiving, somewhere around there, I finally made up my mind to come out here in February, mid-February, to start the AT and try to do the whole thing. And normally when I go into cold areas of the, of the world, I've been to some in some rough parts of the world, or even just Alaska and Norway or different places. I usually grow a beard as long as I can to uh, just to help keep the frostbite off and makes me sleep a little better at night in the sleeping bag. Keeps the bag off my face just a little and it really, really blocks the wind. Uh, I know it looks crazy. It was fun for a while, but I already, I had planned as soon as it warmed up enough or after I got out of the Shenandoahs that it would come off. And when I found out some some tramily, some trail family was going to catch up with me at that last place where we stayed with a uh, trail angel. He actually completed it in 2015. Uh, uh, very visually impaired. Had a rough go of the AT, but he did it. Broke a lot of stuff, hurt himself a ton, but he did it. One of the greatest guys and one of the nicest guys you ever meet. So um, his name is Why Not, W Y E. I understand that's a tree up north. So when they said, why is he doing it? He said, why not? Then it was a play on the tree also. Uh, but anyway, when we found out our tramley was coming there, I said, let us let me surprise him and go and shave before they showed up. And uh, it, it was funny. It was the one guy said, homegrown. You've seen him in here a lot. He said, I can't even look at you now. He didn't recognize me. I know it looks funny when you go from a beard to to that or when someone hasn't seen me in a long time and I've grown a beard but anyway that was part of the fun and just let it grow crazy sideways look like I'd been sleeping on the streets for a while and uh yeah, that's part of the fun for me so we'll see I'll shave occasionally now I'm not too worried about it wasn't part of a stick or anything I just it was just function 
I'm not normally bearded, so this is a little more natural or a little bit, and I get a little scruffy. I don't tend to shave that often, but anyway, it was fun. I uh, hope that answers your question. If not, just leave me a comment below and uh, I'll get back to you. It takes me some time sometimes to get back because I don't have internet very often out here. So, and I don't stop in town very, very often or for very long. So it's tricky to try to get it all done, get the videos done and processed and uploaded and comments answered and all that. Usually takes most of my trail time or my town time, downtime in town. <laughs> Anyway, catch up in a minute. All right, here we are crossing West Virginia 9. That's Virginia over there, so I guess we're in West Virginia now. <laughs> Jefferson County, West Virginia. There's the West Virginia sign. I don't know how we get across here without dying, but we'll find out. All right, looks like Virginia's done. Kind of, sort of, maybe. Thought the sign was at the top of the hill, but anyway, there's West Virginia, Virginia. <coughs> we'll see if there's another one. Not sure. I thought far out showed me at the top of this little hill here is another sign. Let's find out. Maybe I'm back in Virginia now, not West Virginia. It's always a little hard to tell unless you zoom way in on a map. All right, that last sign was the state line to go into West Virginia, so that is the end of Virginia. Unless we decide to come back in for some reason. And now, Harpers Ferry National Historical Park is the southern boundary of it. And guess what? More rocks. <laughs> I guess we're getting warmed up for Pennsylvania, AKA Roxylvania. Curious to see how bad or good it really is. Here's the first view of the Shenandoah River, one of the two rivers uh, going around Harpers Ferry. I guess it's the Shenandoah and the Potomac. So we'll probably see the Potomac uh, maybe tomorrow. Anyway, let's go to the bridge and get some real good views. All right, as you get close to uh, this side of the Shenandoah River Bridge, check out this double blaze hiding behind the tree. You gotta go down the stairs under the bridge and I'm guessing the walkway's over there somewhere. Let's go find out. Alright, come up the stairs. White blaze on the handle. And here's the end of stairs. Let's walk this way. Let's get into Harper's Ferry. There's part of it up there. Sitting above the Shenandoah. If I'm not mistaken, far down there is where Potomac and Shenandoah meet. I think this area is called the Staircase. I don't know if it's because of the rapids or the trail. I'm assuming it's the rapids because it kind of looks like staircases there. Step down, step down, step down. I don't know. Big guesses. Let's go find out what's going on in town. can ignore the road noise and just enjoy the video, there's today's very loud moment of zen. That's from the Shenandoah River Bridge heading into Harper's Ferry. All right, once you get over the Shenandoah Bridge, the walkway takes you right to this blaze here, a little double blaze. And the town is straight ahead if you're driving, but if you're walking, I don't know, hard to say. It says over that way. Not sure which way to go. I'm gonna look on far out, 
but I think I'm gonna turn left here and do, oh, I see, via the road, and this must be via the trail, so we're gonna try the trailway. To the ATC, Appalachian Trail Conservancy, 0 0.4 miles. Let's see if you can see that on there. There you go. All right, let's get to it. Bye, dear. All right, here's St. Peter's Roman Catholic Church. Prism or root cellar? <laughs> you decide. Here's the lower part of Harper's Ferry downtown. Smell food everywhere. Too bad you can't. <laughs> it smells good. Still the Shenandoah River over there. Go find the inn and see if they got rooms. I think it's just here on the left. I don't know.
right here's the lower Harpers Ferry Armory area. There were a lot of buildings it was booming here until they all got destroyed, of course. Give me some of your finest rum. Bet this was a fun place back in the day. just off High Street. It's a big squirrel. It's a small deer. What's up, girl? Leave you alone. Looks like the future of Hilltop House Hotel. These old houses up there. Curious if they're going to disappear. Maybe we could learn more at that site. Answers that question. Those houses are going to disappear. Coming soon. To a Harper's Ferry near you. I think this one might be safe, but I don't know. Those are not. All right, it's bumblebee time. Finally found one to cooperate. There's the ATC in Harper's Ferry. And some Harleys. Let's go check it out before they close. It's about an hour before they close.
Here we are at the ATC. Beautiful relief map, the whole trail. Check out the police. All right, from the ATC, which is that white building right there, you come up this road, see the blue blazes right here? If you just want to go back and forth to the trail, more blue blazes here, saying to go across the street to there, and you go right through this property, and the AT's that way. It's not how we came in. We went ahead and went all the way down the hill to downtown area, but uh, this is one way to come up and visit the ATC if you're not staying off the trail. Check out, check out this, check out these floods. There's 1889, 1889, I guess the same one, I assume, or second one, I don't know. 1936, 1924, and now look at this side of this building. 1902, 24, 1996. Here, 96, 85, it must have been two floods in 96. 85, 72, 1896, 1942, 1869, 1936. That is, I don't know, 15, 20 feet in the air. Holy cow. everything was down and there are bumblebees everywhere up there as a side note sorry the hardware store is closed it looks like and one more flood picture used car for sale a little trade for ammunition got a horse drawn carriage
Alright, here's where the Potomac joins up the Shenandoah River, which is here, coming down this way. They join up here and mix together and head up to that bridge down there. And that's where we're walking tomorrow, somewhere along there. All right, here's three states. We're in West Virginia. There's Maryland and Virginia over there. I believe that's still West Virginia here. We're gonna walk across here and around the corner tomorrow. All right, let's try to read the whole book here. I'm not reading it to you. You can read it, pause it if you want to. This is for my dad. He's a history buff. I'm sure he knows this story pretty well inside and out anyway. He told me a little bit about it on the phone the other day. Thanks, Dad. Learning a little bit out here.